The basic source of this earnings recession story is the fact that we had this 23% earnings growth last year. So 23%, and now all of a sudden, we're down to down 0.7% for the first quarter, flat. Here's the numbers here, and this is what gets everybody freaked out. Oh my heavens, look, we were at 23% last year. Now we're negative for the first quarter, and we're essentially flat. It's been coming down for the second quarter as well, and essentially 3% for the third quarter. Most people think that number is going to come down. So we're, it, there's a little bit higher for the fourth quarter. But the bottom line is everybody says, oh, my heavens, the market was down last year in anticipation of exactly this happening. Uh, maybe. The problem I have is that people are now extrapolating and saying because the earnings are flat, the stock market will of necessity be down this year. And there is not historically a connection here. We, you can look all you want uh, over the last 60 or 70 years, but there have been many years where you had flat earnings growth and the market has gone up, even in the same year or even in the year before, if you think of the market as a forward-looking uh, uh, mechanism. So I think everybody ought to focus on what would cause a real earnings recession, and I'm talking, David, where earnings are down 20%. Mm -hmm. And that would be a recession. The two things that historically have killed bull markets are, number one, sudden rate hikes by the Federal Reserve, and number two, a recession. Those are the bull market killers historically, and we are about to enter one of the longest bull markets of all time. So th that's what people should concentrate on. Do you believe, first off, that's the first one's off the table. The Fed's out of the rate hike game for the moment. So now your game should be, is there a recession coming or not? If you believe there's going to be a recession in, what, pick a number, the fourth quarter or 2020, then okay, rece earnings recession? Absolutely. Okay, could market be down 20%? Yes. Could the earnings be down 20%? Yes, absolutely. But if we miss a recession, this earnings drop that we've seen going flattish for the year make, may make no difference at all in the stock market overall. So I'm trying to tell you, where are you on the recession question? That'll determine what your outlook is. And stop worrying about whether, oh, the market's telegraphing an earnings recession or earnings recessions telegraph. They, people get the cause and effect confused here. It's a recession whether you should concentrate on. I personally think we could avoid it. And everybody says, oh, wait a minute. We're due for a recession. We have to have a recession. No, we don't. We don't have to have anything. We could avoid it. You know what the Fed's capable of doing. All I'm saying is it's an open question. And where do you stand on that?